This is the text platform informing the nation on text matters. We're back with another fresh episode. And this week we are going with uh, the text compliance report or the text compliance summary. There are two different documents, but they serve the same purpose. So we will describe or explain the role of these documents. Now, the text compliance report and summary basically gives you, as a taxpayer, an idea of how you are standing with the Revenue Authority or with the Botswana Unified Revenue Service. That it gives you your compliance status at a certain point in time. So, it will show you what payments um, you have made recently, whether it's income tax, that is uh, self-assessment tax, whether it's pay as you earn, whether it's other withholding tax and VAT. It will show you how much you have paid or how much credits do you have in respect to those taxes. Secondly, when it comes to payments, it will show you which tax you are owing or what taxes you are owing. If it income tax, it will show you how much you are owing income tax. Same for VAT pays you and other withholding taxes and even other taxes such as transfer duty. It will also show you what returns are outstanding, whether it's VAT, income tax, pays you and other withholding tax and for each period as so well. It will also show you which returns are submitted and are pending processing. So normal returns will be submitted. So most of the time when you submit online, it will be automatically processed. And sometimes it's not automatically processed. Um, when you submit manually, it's not processed uh, quickly. So the compliance summary will show you which returns are processed. And then you will need to go to return processing to make sure that they process those returns. So if you don't look at your compliance report, you will not know that there are some returns that you have submitted that are not processed, and therefore you need to make follow-ups. So that is why it is important to always ensure that you look at your compliance summary report, which can be accessed online if you are registered for e-services, or you can ask for it over the counter at the BRS offices. So the compliance summary will also show you things like uh, refunds that are outstanding. What is the date? The status of the refund? Is it approved? If it is approved, has it been submitted for payment? Um, is it included in purchase that are due to be paid? Um, stuff like that. And then also if you are not registered for payee or you have not you are not registered for VAT. It will also show you um, what was when the re request for registration was submitted, how far um, it has gone, or when it sh you should expect it to be to be done, so that you can easily make a follow up. Stuff like that. So it comprehensively shows your standing, what base owes you what you owe best and then you can use that to fix um, any issues that may be there whether they, those issues are real or is because of uh, the mistakes of the revenue authority so at any point in time when you have the compliance summary you can attend to issues as they arise that's why it's important for you to regularly um, whether it's you choose it monthly, weekly, or fortnightly to check your compliance summary and uh, look at your standing with the tax man, um, how it goes. And remember that most of the time, or ordinarily, it can only be issued 
with a tax clearance certificate if you have a clean compliance report so that's why you need to ensure that regularly you check your compliance report and if there are any outstanding returns you submit them or some returns are not processed you follow up for that so that they are processed if there are any payments you settle those uh, payments so that at any point in time you need to renew a tax clearance certificate you can renew it quickly because remember if the report is clean at the click of a button within seconds you can get your tax clearance certificate so that is why it is important to regularly review your tax affairs by looking at the tax compliance report or summary hope that was insightful continue to listen in onto the tax platform we are the tax platform informing the nation on tax matters we are available across all your favorite podcast platform apple podcast spreaker spotify some some podcast google podcast youtube you name them good day and enjoy the rest of your day